Welcome back to the channel. Today I have an exciting update for the F30. Boot Mode actually released an update as of Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Anybody who has an N20 and 26 engine, I believe this should work for you. I think they may have even updated outside of those engines, so just double check on Boot Mode if you have any updates. First, I have to actually just take a look over my F30 exhaust because when I did my Catless Downpipe install, the clamp, the OEM BMW clamp that we put on, the bolt itself was just in the wrong orientation so it actually sits lower than any part of my car. That's always the first thing to get scraped. So I'm actually gonna loosen that up and then just rotate it and then make sure that there's no exhaust leaks so that way we can tune it and then hear how the new burble sounds and how the engine pulls afterwards. But I'm gonna go outside and get this exhaust set up and then we can come back here, grab the laptop and do some tuning. Grab my handy dandy mallet, the F30 here. I've got it on some really jank looking wood blocks but it does the job. So what I'm talking about is like right back there so I'm gonna get under the car try and bring you guys and show you what's up all right so I think you guys can see that bolt there this one here I just need to basically whack this so that way this whole piece kind of rotates and then this goes up it's really bent and out of shape I mean the clamp itself still works I'm hoping and it actually creates a nice seal it looks like it will but I just need to get rid of this because every time I go over like anything super low and I don't air up it gets whacked so Him. This thing does not want to move. Two hours later. Got it a little bit more moved, just needs to go a little bit further. Not a lot of room to work down here. But I think it does seem to be seated on there. And it definitely sits a lot more flush with this exhaust, so it's actually not hanging as low. Should be good to tighten this down now, and I'm hoping it creates a nice seal. Okay, all done. Tightened and it's pointing just straight down now so it's not flaring out to one side. Next, let's start up the car, spray some soapy water on this joint and see if it does in fact hold. So now if I spray some soapy water, sorry for yelling, I'm right underneath the N26, LOL. That's actually looking good. I don't see any bubbles coming out. It does appear to be sealed. Okay, all set. Let's get this thing off the wood blocks and we'll go get the laptop and do some tuning. Alrighty guys, so here I am on boot mode. I've got my OBD agent up and running, though we don't need that just yet. Um, it is up to date, so that's always good to note. And if yours is not, make sure you go update it. Just hit the OBD agent and download update. For this scenario, I'll show you right now my maps. Currently, I have my stock tune, my 90, stage 193, stage 293, stage 293 aggressive. And this is a custom map here that I don't really use too often. I actually really prefer this one. As you can see, this one is my last flash and it's version four. So to get the update, you're gonna go back over here, hit OTS maps. And now you'll notice they're all updated version 4.3, which has been released uh, Cinco de Mayo 2019, May 5th. So what I wanna do is of course do whatever you're set to do, but Mine, I'm gonna go ahead and run the Stage 293 Octane Aggressive tune again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click that. So with this new update, it says that boost control is revised. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. This was posted by the Pro Tuning Freaks, AKA Boot Mode Admin, the N20. This also applies to N26 for anyone who's wondering. Electronic Wastegate version 2.5, May 5th, 2019. So boost control adjustment and verbal fixes. This is the main reason I'm doing this right here. Boost control has been altered on this version to give a quick spool to the boost target. Some users had verbal and eco mode which is now changed and works in the appropriate modes meaning before you would have verbal and eco comfort and sport and sport plus but now they're saying you will only have verbal in sport sport plus and I believe comfort is included but you won't get it in eco so we'll see what that does I read some reviews and some people said it was dumbed down a lot in eco but you still got some verbal and now back to here let's go ahead and get the tune are you sure you'd really like to acquire it yes success so we'll hit OK. Now under here, you should see the new one, version 4.3, stage 293 octane aggressive. Perfect. 
So before we go and tune this, what I want to do is actually update my settings. So once I'm in that map, you want to go up here to configure, go to exhaust, you can go to exhaust verbal type, and we're going to do, actually it looks like they added some. So we have OTS, original, off, but we're going to do custom. So duration, I'm going to leave right at three seconds. So three and three. Aggression, I'm going to actually go... Yeah, we'll send it, full send, all the way up to 12, let's do it. And min speed, that's perfect. Max speed, uh, we'll put that, yeah, like 100 miles an hour. I'm actually also gonna change the min RPM to, yes, 1200, it's already set, perfect. Max should be around 6,000. Cold start, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that OEM. So we'll go back here and hit save changes, hit save, and now it's all set. We are all set to tune, we just need to get this wired up to the car and we should be all good. All right, I actually just started up the F30 and no lie, it actually sounds a lot healthier, the exhaust, now that I fixed that. It sounds like there's way more noise coming out of the back end of the car and not so much like right here by my feet outside the door. So I think there was a leak and I think now it's sealed. So I actually need to go get some 93 octane. So I'm gonna go to the gas station, do that, and then we'll tune it. A few moments later, Detail. Fueled up in a good spot. Let's get to tuning. I'm excited. I hope you're excited because I am so excited. I love boot mode updates. It's the best because you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes it's minimal. Sometimes it's badass. So let's uh, break on the laptop and get tuning. I've got my OBD hooked up. If you guys need a link to this, I'll have it down in the description for the OBD connector. Let's go ahead and make sure the car is off. I'm gonna go ahead and put my seatbelt on. All right, so this reflection is pretty bad, but it says OBD or agent OBD connection to the vehicle is up. So we're good to go. We're gonna hop back over to the website portion of this. And now we're just gonna go ahead and basically hit flash. Make sure that your air conditioning is off, your seat belt is on, all that good stuff. And press here to flash now. Flash, it is underway. Guys, before you leave the video, just in case you had that weird urge to click away, don't because I'm doing the giveaway here at the end of this video. So if you guys took part in the carbon fiber lip giveaway, stay tuned because I'm gonna pick the winner at the end of this video. 12%, let's go. It's been about two or three minutes, 75% finishing up. Flash successful, restoring DME coding from backup. So that's basically just getting rid of all this, all these malfunctions and stuff. Success, please wait five seconds and then start the car. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. And there we are. I just drove like, just away from those people like one lot over and I was doing like 10 miles an hour not even and this thing was popping like crazy oh my god I can't wait to do this all right I'm gonna go set the camera up behind and then I'm gonna do like one 3,000 rev one like 5,000 rev in eco pro then comfort and then sport plus and you guys can hear out sounds this is so sick I'm so stoked let's do it This is by far the loudest the F30 has ever been. No competition, like no previous upgrade, no map, no custom map. Oh my lord, pro tuning freaks have really outdone themselves. This is wild. This is kind of what I had dreamt of the whole time when I was getting boot mode. And I kind of just had come to terms with the fact that I drive a four banger and it's only gonna make so much noise. But wow, this is like on a whole new level, guys. Let's um go kind of just drive around. I'll see if I can get some footage for you. Tunnel. <laughs> oh my lord, dude. Holy shit, it's so fast. It is so fast. What? This is not even the same car. It's so rambunctious. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Straight gunshots, man. This is like almost too much, you know? Like, I, I shouldn't. 
And what am I saying? No, this is what I've always wanted my 328i to sound like. So, fuck yeah, this sounds sick. I'm so stoked. So let's go back home and pick one of you guys to win the F30 carbon fiber trunk lift. Back home now. I cannot believe how good the F30 sounds. Like it's unreal how good that sounds. I would have never guessed that my car could sound like that. I had initially wanted it to sound like that when I got boot mode, but I never really achieved it until now. So that is just so cool. And I'm just so stoked. I hope you guys like it and I hope this video helps some of you guys. But I think what all of you have been waiting for is the giveaway for that carbon fiber lip right there. I've already set up my computer and I'm going to go ahead and shuffle all the comments. I read through all of them and replied actually to I think all of them. So don't think that I didn't see your comment or anything like that. And I just got so many comments on that video that I figure instead of me going through and like hand picking one, I think it would just be a little more fair to do it by random so that's what I'm gonna do and I feel like that gives all of you an even playing field so one last thing though before I go ahead and pick the winner so in that video after that video was recorded of me putting on the new trunk lip something not so chill happened and it was totally my bad and I take 100% fault and I'm just an idiot so here's what happened the trunk lip I took off the BMW, this one right back here, the M4 style. I put it on the Prelude trunk just to like let it sit for a while. Cleaned up all my stuff after the install and the video was done. Went out to drive the Prelude and as you can probably guess, I forgot to take the trunk lip off. Pulled out of my driveway, got like 100 feet down the road, heard something fall and I figured like, I don't know, something just fell off the old ass Prelude. But in fact, the F30 trunk lip fell off the back. So everything, most of it is still pretty clean, but if you come over here, now you can see it. Look at that. Gnarly, just so bad, and it kind of goes all the way down here and scratches there at the end. And then the worst part, well, not the worst, but also equally bad is all this fraying going on in the corner here. Needless to say, there will be no one getting that lip. I'm sorry, guys. I can't with good heart give someone that lip to put on their car. I know I would never want to put it on mine, so I just can't put someone else in those shoes, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, I feel really bad. So what I did was I hit up Brian over at Keys Motorsports, kind of just explained to him the situation, and he, he laughed, he got a good laugh and understood, but what he's doing for us and what he's doing for the channel and for you guys and for me, he's giving me a huge, huge help here. He's giving away, well, <laughs> I'm giving away, but through Brian, a PLM style carbon fiber F30 trunk lip. It is brand new, it will be shipped to you. Basically how this is gonna work is I'm gonna pick the winner. Whoever wins, send me a screenshot of your YouTube channel so I know it's actually you and not someone else. Then we'll get all your information, your shipping info. Actually, I don't even need your shipping info because I don't have the lip. So what I'll do is I'll actually just give you the promo code for one free PLM style carbon fiber F30 trunk lip. And you can go over to Keys Motorsports and it's totally free. You can plug it in, put in that code, free lip, free shipping, straight to your doorstep. It is only in the US. So if I end up picking somebody outside the US, I'm super sorry, but that's just how it works in the shipping world, man. I apologize. But Let's go ahead and pick a winner because I'm excited. I know you guys are excited. So I'm here, YouTube random comment picker. Go ahead and put in that video link right there. Get YouTube comments. Go down here, start raffle, and pick a random winner. All right, Cam Mooney, you are the winner, my man. His comment says, stay elevated. Amazing work on the channel, bro. I have a jet black F30 328i, and my favorite mod would have to be exhaust mods. I feel like it just adds the perfect sound, makes the car unique over the builds, and gives you so much freedom to customize whatever you want, from doing a minor muffler delete to a crazy straight pipe setup. Thank you so much for the opportunity to win that beautiful carbon fiber spoiler. Cam Mooney, everybody, right there. Cam? Send me your info, bro. Big congratulations, man. I really appreciate everyone who commented and who has watched my videos. I just, I can't believe the support and everything around it. So Cam, I hope you make good use of that spoiler. Guys, if you didn't win, I apologize. There will be definitely more giveaways as we continue to grow as a channel and as I get more F30 parts, all right? So with that being said, Cam, please send me again a screenshot of your YouTube channel. Just shoot me, you can send me an email, it's probably best. It's just sales at 
elevatedmediamerch.com. Reach out to me there, bud. We'll get your promo code for your new carbon fiber spoiler and we should be all good to go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And again, I hope this video helped out some of you. Don't forget to update your boot mode tunes. Don't forget.